Hey everyone. Today we're checking out this beautiful black Ibanez AZS2209B. It's kind of a long name. So this is a Ibanez Prestige Series Telecaster and it is AZS2209B. B stands for black. Uh, and it's just, it's a really gorgeous guitar. We've got roasted maple fretboard, roasted maple neck, locking tuners, um, this beautiful black finish. Whoops, sorry for the glare. It's beautiful black finish with the chrome hardware. And man, it, it plays nice. So um, let's check it out. A little Jimmy-ish sound. my favorite new sounds I just downloaded. This is the Pete Thorne Plexi sound uh, with nothing really added to it. I did turn the noise gate on the um, input up a little because it's this is pretty noisy so So some of the other features that I really like, I really like these like medium jumbo frets. They're, I believe they're stainless steel. They're, it's pretty comfortable to play. Um, obviously the contoured body, like right there, like a strat on the front, on the, on the back. And then of course this, where the neck meets the body. See that, that really cool. There's tons of room to get in here. And then we've got the locking tuners, which are amazing. What else? Just the general appearance of this guitar. It's like super nice. It's very shiny. It's really hard to keep clean. I just cleaned it. But there, it's a fingerprint monster. <laughs> um, so I would say, if you're looking for a Sur, if, you, if you've ever played a Sur, tell any of the Sur guitars, they're, cause they're pretty, you know, they're, they're high end in the like $2,500 and up range. This feels a lot like a Sur to me. I don't own a Sur, but I've played a few in the stores. Um, it has that, it just sort of has that modern higher high end feeling to it, to me when you play it. So I would say for the price, this is a really good alternative to buying a Sur because this is much cheaper. I think I got this, um, I actually got this on Reverb and it was like, it's either a floor model or a return. There's not a, there's not a scratch on it. I think I got it for like 1400 and it's 1999 normally, brand new. So um, yeah, I think that it's a really killer option uh, in that price range and it does sound pretty amazing. So, all right, let's check it out some more.
Okay, now we're back with one of my favorite, like, just oh, rock sound, metal. It's not metal. I guess it's almost metal. It's a Friedman BE100. This is another Fractal um, FM3 preset. And I have um, an, a TS-808 and delay also, so... Tonic madness. <laughs> yeah, this one sounds really cool. Uh, This is a clean top boost sound with um, a little slapback. And like, I turned the, delay, uh, the reverb down just a hair. Mesa Boogie Metallica sound. Yeah. I really dig this guitar. Um, I've been wanting one of these for a long time just to try out. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I'm not sure if it's really the right one for me. I kind of prefer a thicker neck profile than this, than this even. This is thicker than most Ibanez guitars, but it's not quite as, um, I really like the soft V or even that deep D kind of neck that Fender makes. 
but I love the roasted maple and I love the fretboard. Um, I love the frets. I love everything about it, the color. Uh, it might just not be exactly the right one for me, but hopefully this helps you guys get an idea of what it sounds like and what it feels like. Um, it's a gorgeous guitar. So, and for the price, I, I think it's really pretty, very affordable for this level of um, like craftsmanship and all the bling that comes on it, you know, with the binding and locking tuners and just, it's pretty sweet. So, all right. Thanks for checking out the video and uh, give me a like if you thought it was cool and uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the guitar or the sounds, if you thought the sounds were good or if you thought they were bad. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Thanks for watching.